Good morning, Woodland. I'm Piper Clear. I'm Maya Paul. And I'm Jade Leasty. Welcome to this week's Warrior News. We have annual national convention. There was over 68,000 members that attended. We went to leadership workshops and listened to many keynote speakers, and they taught us a lot about leadership. We also attended the rodeo for some fun on Friday. Our chapter meeting is number 14th. Um, chili cook-off is our November 17th. You can sign, out, sign up outside Mr. Sam's doors. Up next, we get into the holiday spirit with lots of videos about Thanksgiving, such as what your favorite tradition is, as well as Devon asking students what their favorite pie is and Anthony asking students turkey or ham. Hard decisions. Let's see what they say. I'm Brayden. I'm Max. Today, we're going to be interviewing Woodland students and staff about their Thanksgiving family traditions. Um, our family tradition is a big dinner in our house with all the turkey and dressing and all that fun. My favorite tradition is going to my grandma's and eating turkey. For Thanksgiving, I have a lot of family, so we go to multiple Thanksgivings. Okay, my family Thanksgiving tradition are all my kids. My husband and I have 10 kids and 20 grandkids. They come to our house and we have a big turkey and everybody brings their food, whatever they want to bring, and we just have a good time enjoying being thankful. My family Thanksgiving tradition is we spend it with my mother and we all do a carry-in of food and then after that we have games and cards and have a good time. I'm Max. I'm Brayden. Today we're going to be interviewing students and staff about Thanksgiving trivia. Alright, who am I here with? I'm here with Owen. Alright, uh, when was the first Thanksgiving NFL game? 1700s, I don't know. 1920. Am I here with? Addison Klotz. What was the most expensive Thanksgiving dinner? 500000 No, 150000 All right, who am I here with? Lily Morrissey. All right, in what month did the first Thanksgiving very likely take place? October. Wrong, September. All right, who am I here with? Easton Unger. On average, how many calories are consumed by a person on Thanksgiving? About 6,000. No, 4,500. Today, we interview students about would they rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? My name is Anthony, and today I'm here with? Keith. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? I would rather have ham. All right, thank you. My name is Anthony, and today I'm here with? Liv. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Um, turkey. All right, thank you. My name is Anthony, and today I'm here with? Alex. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Ham. All right, thank you. My name is Anthony, and today I'm here with? Mrs. Burning. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Turkey, of course. All right, thank you. I'm June Sewell, and today I'm here with... Douglas Sewell. Would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Ham. Yeah. My name's Anthony, and today I'm here with... Jaden. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Ham. All right, thank you. I'm Anthony, and today I'm here with... BC. All right, would you rather have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Uh, turkey, of course. All right, thank you. My name's Anthony, and today I'm here with... Colin Reinhardt. All right, would you have ham or turkey for Thanksgiving? Is it smoked or baked? Whatever you want. I'm more of a baked ham type of guy. All right, thank you. Thank you, Warriors. Have a good day. Today we asked students what their favorite Thanksgiving pie is. This was the response. I'm here with Kaylin Jackemeyer. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Apple pie. Thank you. I'm here with Shane Snyder. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Pumpkin pie. I'm here with Jackson Art. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Pumpkin pie. I'm here with Defoe. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Pumpkin. I'm here with Jack. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Cherry. I'm here with Devon. What's your favorite flavor of Thanksgiving pie? Cherry pie. I'm here with Brayden. What is your go to Thanksgiving pie? Oatmeal cream pies. I'm here with Ali. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie? Pumpkin. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Great videos. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Me too. We turn our attention to the principal for the day and a sneak peek of this year's semi formal. This week we interviewed Mr. Crown about principal for a day. Can you tell us what is principal for a day? Principal for a day is when people from the community are invited to come and just see what it's like uh, a, a day in the life of being in the school. So this year it's um, Mr. Felix Torres from Ivy Tech Fort Wayne. Uh, 
he's in the student services department and he's going to just shadow me. I, um, it happens to be on the day that we have our Veterans Day program, so he's just going to shadow me. I hope to have him uh, go into different classes and, and just see what it's like to be a principal for a day. And how many years have you been? Um, so because of COVID, we didn't do it uh, for two of the years. So this is going to be the fourth year that we've had had it. But East Allen County Schools has been doing principal for a day for as long as I can remember, for at least 15 years. And what does Felix do? You know what, I've never met Felix, so when he comes next week, it'll be the first time that I meet him. Um, all I know is his title is uh, something related to student services for Ivy Tech. Thank you. Thank you, Warriors. Have a great day. This week, we interviewed students about if they're going to semi-formal or not. Are you going to semi-formal this year? Yep. Are you going to semi-formal? No, I'm not. Are you going to semi-formal this year? Uh-uh. Are you going to semi-formal? Yes. Yes. Are you going to semi-formal this year? No. <laughs> Are you going to semi-formal? I don't know yet. Okay. Are you going to semi-formal this year? No. Those are some interesting answers. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. Here's for your wisdom as well as a random trivia game with Adrian, Rachel, and Cammie. Okay. Mrs. Miller, what's your biggest pet peeve in students? When they don't have their iPads charged, but their cell phones are. <laughs> Mr. Randall, what is your biggest pet peeve with your students? My biggest pet peeve is when students have earbuds in when we're talking during class. I think it's rude and it obviously interferes with the educational process. Ms. Shipley, what is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to students? When I say things and write all the directions in Canvas, and then two seconds later, everybody says, what are we doing? Who am I here with? Mrs. Gruber. What's your biggest pet peeve in students? Hmm, well, there's a few, but lately it's been when people call me, bruh. <laughs> Who am I here with? Mr. Garska. What's your biggest pet peeve with your students? When I'm trying to teach and people are like huddled in the back talking while I'm talking. Mr. R, what is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to students? Students who don't do their work, but then want to be upset with the teacher because the student is lazy. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> who am I here? Um, this is Limeberry. And what's your teacher pet peeve? Um, I get frustrated when kids give up instead of trying. I like it when they keep giving that effort, even if they can't get it at the moment, to just take a breather and try again. So, Who am I here with? Mrs. Singer. What's your biggest pet peeve with your students? When students line up at the door before the bell. It <laughs> makes me feel like you can't wait to leave me. <laughs> Mr. Mack, what is your pet peeve as a teacher? I can't tell you my biggest pet peeve because then you guys could use it against me. So I'm not going to tell you that one. I think the biggest one that I would share with you, though, is when I've explained something and someone immediately asks me the same question. And, but the reason that they asked is because they were not paying any attention at all the first time I said it. Seems a little bit targeted. <laughs> what? This is Adrian Etzler, Rachel Waters, Cameron Caston. We asked people random trivia to see how smart they are. Who am I here with? McKenna Goble. Coal, natural gas, and oil are in what class of fuel? Fossil. Thank you. Who am I here with? Gracie Wirt. What food is Gorgonzola? I don't know. Thank you. Who am I here with? Mr. Mast. Besides English, what is the official language of India? I would have to say maybe Japanese, but I know that's wrong. Okay, thank you. Who am I here with? Shane Snyder. Which country has the highest life expectancy? China. Thank you. Who am I here with? Olivia. True or false, eggplant is a vegetable. False. Thank you. Who am I here with? Kaylin Jackermeyer. Which language has the more native speakers, English or Spanish? Um, Spanish. Thank you. That's what they had to say. Back to the studio.
I guess I need to start charging my iPad more. And I need to stop talking in class so much. Up next, we take a look at this week's staff member of the week, Mrs. Shipley, as well as the interview with Mr. Jiro about his time in the Army. I'm Katie Gilbert. I'm Caroline Romines. Welcome back to our staff member of the week segment. This week I'm interviewing Ms. Shipley. Hey guys, I'm here with Ms. Shipley for our staff member of the week. So what do you teach? I teach Algebra 2 and Algebra 1 this year. How long have you been teaching at Woodland? This is my ooh, seventh year at Woodland. What's your favorite thing about teaching? Listening to you guys and having conversations and hearing all the things that you think and what you want to do with your lives and what you're passionate about and I like to learn from you guys it's it's cool hearing different perspectives can you tell us a fun fact about yourself fun fact um three years ago two years ago I read all seven Harry Potter books in 63 days that's dedication <laughs> um and what advice do you have for students taking your classes do quiz corrections always do Thank you, Ms. Shipley, for that amazing interview. This is Caroline and Katie with Warrior Day. I'm Essie. And this is Riley. And this week we interviewed Mr. Giro. I'm with? Mr. Giro. How long have you been serving? I've been in the Air Force, Air National Guard, uh, for almost 23 years. December 5th will be 23 years. What does being in the service mean to you? Um, it's honorable. Um, I like... I like serving my country, uh, just like I like teaching, I like serving the kids. Um, so it means a lot to me. Why did you decide to go into it? Um, there were several reasons. I was at a point in my life where um, I was kind of at a crossroad. Uh, I was going to school. I was working full time. I had a good buddy that was in the Air Force, and it was just the right thing for me to do at that specific time in my life. And it was the best decision I've ever made. What are your opinion on Veterans Day? Um, I think it's a great way to honor all veterans. Um, our Veterans Day program here at uh, Woodland is exceptional. Um, I really like being a part of it and it's, it's great to see all the veterans that, that come each year. So um, I think it's a great holiday to, to honor all veterans. I'm Essie, and this is Riley, and this is Woodland News. Now we take a look at the week in sports. Welcome back to another week of Warrior Sports. We are your hosts, Ethan and Hunter. Now going over to hear about the upcoming wrestling season. Good luck on your match Saturday. Okay, today I'm going to be interviewing wrestlers to see how their season is gonna go and what they have done to prepare. So today I'm here with Gavin, or many call him Tater, and I'm going to be asking him a few questions. So, how have practice has been going? Oh, pretty good so far. We've been putting in a lot of hard work. And what did you do during the off season to get better at wrestling? Uh, you know, doing a lot of conditionings, going on runs, you know, getting in shape, trying to get strong. And what are you looking forward to the most about this season? Uh, you know, spending time with the guys and just having a good time. And that wraps it up for Tater. Today I'm here with Tyler Geis, and I'm going to be asking him some questions about the upcoming wrestling season. So first off, how have practices been going? They've been going pretty good so far. Uh, we got a lot of people. We want more people to come out and be participants in it. And with that, what does a wrestling practice look like? Like, what do you guys do? Um, we start off with stretches, then we get into takedowns. Um, then we'll go into more live situations, and then we'll go into conditioning and leave. And when is your guys' first meet? Um, the 11th, uh, New Haven. The 11th. And what did you do during the off season to get better at wrestling and prepare for your junior season? Um, I ran track and just ran outside a lot. So conditioning. And what, like, what is something you're looking forward to this season? Um, beating my last score from beating my last score. Yes, that's it. And that is Tyler Geis of the wrestling team. And that wraps it up for this week's segment of us interviewing wrestlers. Thank you, guys. And that wraps it up for this week's segment of us interviewing wrestlers. Thank you, guys. Today, I'm here with Tyler Geis, and I'm going to be asking him some questions about the upcoming wrestling season. So first off, how have practices been going? 
they've been going pretty good so far. Uh, we got a lot of people. We want more people to come out and be participants in it. And with that, what does a wrestling practice look like? Like, what do you guys do? Um, we start off with stretches. Then we get into takedowns. Um, then we'll go into more live situations. And then we'll go into conditioning and leave. And when is your guys' first meet? Um, the 11th, uh, New Haven. The 11th. And what did you do during the off season to get better at wrestling and prepare for your junior season? Um, I ran track and just ran outside a lot. So conditioning. And what like what is something you're looking forward to this season? Um, beating my last score from beating my last score. Yes, that's it. And that is Tyler Geis of the wrestling team. Now for your upcoming sports for the next two weeks. The girls basketball has a game against Leo and Jay County. They're both at home. On Tuesday, November 28th, the girls have a game at Eastside. And then on Thursday, November 30th, the girls play at home against Hicksville. The boys start their season on the 22nd at New Haven. Also on Saturday, November 25th, they have a game against Belmont at Belmont. Now for your sports recap. So far, the girls basketball team has won all their games, making them 3-0. and Keep it up. And that is the sports for this week. Catch you next week for more Warrior Sports. Here is the world news. Hi, my name is Eli, and I'm your world news anchor. Earlier this week, Joe Biden and Xi Jinping set a date to meet tomorrow at the San Francisco Summit, November 15th, 2023. Big news across the pond. Ukraine and Poland are joining forces. Ukraine says they're going to use this winter to cut off Russian supplies and freeze them out of the country. In the Middle East, several hospitals in Gaza say they are unable to treat patients due to Hamas attacks and bombings. This is your weekly news report. I'm Eli Woods. We'll catch you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your break and happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, Woodland. I'm Piper. Why did I stop? We start off the show. Dang it, my bad. Great videos. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. Me too. We turn our attention to the principal. You had it. <laughs> the principal of the Ready? Oh. After the break, we take a look at everyone's favorite videos of the week. Warrior Wisdom with me, Maya, and Jade. As well as a random trivia game. No, uh-uh. What? Welcome back. Here's Warrior Wisdom as long as... You had it, you had it. you love me. I guess I need to start charging my iPad more. And I need to stop talking. You, you had it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your break and have Happy a good Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I oh, oh my god, I want to...